19 and 0, three and a half years in the game. As I said, I'm not perfect, but I'm trying. And if you don't take part, you're gonna fail. I'm a little bit emotional because I know I've got doubters that think that I can't do this and do that, but I dig deep, it is what it is. As I said, if you don't take part, you're gonna fail. So just give it a go and you never know the outcome. In the knockdown in the fifth and then you were down in the sixth. Well, you know, this is boxing. I'm only gonna improve. You know, like, look, sometimes you can be a phenomenal boxer, but boxing's about character. And when you go to the trenches, that's when you find out who you really are. There's no sign, there's no complications about boxing. Anyone can do this. Anyone can do it, just give it a go. As I said, it's about character. Find what you believe in, what you're good at, and just give it a go and keep on digging, digging, and digging. So here we are, boys and girls. Day 25 of the 100 day challenge. We're one quarter of the way through and we started today off with some finishing drills. You can see here what I'm doing. So I'm taking the ball, trying to get that first good touch. And I hit it there in the corner. So what you can see here is that I'm really trying to make that sharp movement, right? So I'm approaching a defender. I'm receiving the ball on the right or the left. I'm cutting inside and using a quick change of direction to finish it off. Again, always one of the key things here is a good first touch. The second thing is to go at pace, right? And then just throw your body to the left. Take it with your right. You can see it one more time here. Good first touch, approach with speed, throw your body and finish into the back of the net, preferably in the corners like you see there. One thing that you see here is that I always take it with the opposite foot. So I dribble with the right there and then take it with the left. This one you see here, practicing a typical situation with a fullback or a winger, playing a one-two with a striker or a central mid. switch things up on the left side because as you can see here now I go in with a slide as if, as if I'm intercepting the ball and then going down to attack again very much like you can see it here again sprint intercept slide get back on your feet as quickly as possible and get that one to that give and go and a quality cross at the end of it might not know this but one of my favorite favorite things to do is a slide tackle I love sliding I love when the conditions are just a little bit wet on the pitch and I can go ahead and go boom take it get up on my feet and do it all over again I love I love slide tackling man I love it so much next thing we practice creating that just that one yard of space and you guys know if you've been watching these vlogs, how much I've been talking about this one yard, boom, you see it with that Barca player. That's exactly what we're doing here. Not in the exact same situation, but the same principle, right? It, it applies. It's all about collecting the ball and then quickly just cut in, boom, creating that one yard of space to deceive a defender, to get that one yard over a defender so you can just go and power it in very very useful when you know the defense is tight and you just you got to create something out of somewhere and that's what the very best players do they can create something out of nothing one thing that you'll see in this slow-mo is the cut look at that cut it's really got to be sharp it's got to be precise it's got to be a meter or two in front of you so you can now have the leverage and the momentum to just power it like you see there
finish the day off with what you see here now. It's kind of a scoop to a volley. In terms of finishing technique, a volley while turning is one of the most difficult skills to master in football. So if you master this, you pretty much can't master much else except maybe a bicycle kick. But see here, I'm glad that I got four or five out of five of these. And we're done with that. So day 25, it's over, one quarter of the way through. That's the last session we've had we're gonna have with Moses, unfortunately. Um, it's gonna be back to Switzerland for me and uh, a few trainings before that by myself. So see you in the next vlog.